How's it going everybody? And welcome, whoa, those are huge, to uh, Blue Shift. This is the free VR game I'm going to be playing. I'm currently looking away from the front because there is a mirror and it, mm, mm, it doesn't look too great. Oh, it, it's making me feel really weird. It doesn't quite work properly. Ew, I need to, I need to look away from that. Controls. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, no. If I just touch that, I move. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, fire. I can shoot. I don't have my earphones in, I have just realized. Phew. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to put my earphones in real quick. Ooh, this is really really loud how do I can I can I turn the volume down I'm gonna turn the volume down oh that's so much better <laughs> I have a new cooler in my PC which means that we should be able to play VR for a little bit longer without um, my PC exploding hopefully is the hope because I have a proper big cooler in my CPU. So now my CPU isn't kicking out any of the heat. My CPU is barely hitting 60 degrees. It's my GPU. And if I'm ever gonna replace that, I might as well just get a whole new PC. So if that ever breaks, I'm screwed. <laughs> but it should be good. It should be good for what we're doing. So let's, let's go. Oh, this is gonna make me so sick, isn't it? So I'm currently using a rail gun. I can get different guns. Plasma cannon, the minigun sounds fun. How do I, uh-oh. Does that change all my guns? Okay, it does. Oh, this feels weird. <laughs> okay, these ones don't, um, they don't knock me back. What about these ones? Oh yeah, they do. Oh, that feels weird. I'm gonna go with these ones because they don't move me. Oh, this feels even weirder than um, another game that I'm going to be playing in the future. I did a test of and you're in zero G and that feels weird. Replay tutorial. Let's go do the tutorial, yeah. Oh, oh wait, this. The wings look awesome though, look at that. Can I fly yet? I'm gonna say no because it indoors. Waste what? Trans. Trans story shoots. Oh, these different places. Where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? Space seems like a good place to start. I'm not going to lie. No, let's go classic. Classic sounds good. Do no. <laughs> Loading screen. This may freeze recording because that seems to happen. So there's not much I can do about that. I'll try and edit it around it. But that really didn't take long to load. Uh, do I need my wings? Oh, wow. Go, go, go. Is that a thing to shoot? Oh, I thought I was going to crash into the floor in real life. Oh, this is so cool. Drop the wings. Whoa, I almost fell over. <laughs> up the ramp, up the ramp. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. I think I can fly without wings if I just thrust up, but, oh wow. Oh, that, it feels so intuitive, is the thing. Blah. I am actually already motion sick, but now that I'm in the sky, it doesn't feel so bad. 
but on the floor, it makes me feel sick really fast. That's really high. Mm. Trying not to touch the thrusters is kind of difficult. What's in here? Well, if I just turn my wings off, do I just start to drop? Yes. But can I thrust up? No, I need the wings. <laughs> this looks interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know what there is to do. I have guns, so I assume I can shoot at stuff. But look at the size of these things. They're huge. Like, my head could fit in that. Woo! <laughs> Taking my hands off the controls is like, uh, you kind of just stop dead. I don't have any rotate buttons, I have to rotate in real life, which, you know, it's good to get used to doing that, because I don't do that enough. I get lazy and just get <laughs> use the rotate button. Wow, this is amazing. There's a, there looks like there's a thing in the bottom of that orb. We should go there. The arms stretch a little bit weirdly, but you know, I can live with that. Oh, we are, we've picked up some speed now. Is there something in the bottom of this? <gasps> no! Did, did that try and pick me up? Hang on, maybe I should... Let's get rid of the wings. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this mountain looks a lot smaller when I was up in the sky. If ever there was a game to make to get rid of motion sickness in VR, it was this one. <laughs> Does this pick me up? Is this maybe how I return back to the hub? Nope. Hmm. How do I return to the hub? That's a good question. We're gonna jump. We're gonna jump it. Ah! <laughs> I have guns, but nothing to shoot. Oh, the plants sort of get smaller when I shoot them. Ow. Anything? No. Hmm. Hmm. Whee! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, it's a half pipe. Woo! I wonder if I can get back up to the hub from up here. I am going way too fast. Oh. No, no. See, if I just touch the analog sticks, because they have touch sensors, it counts as touching the trackpad on a Vive controller, which this was made for. So just touching them makes me zoom which is a little bit fiddly. What is that? First of all, but I want to check out more of these. I wonder if this has a multiplayer. I accidentally put away one of my wings. It's like another orb, like starting orb. Wow, I stopped dead. Eh. I don't appear to be able to do anything though. Does this have a menu? No, that's just the Steam menu. There's a possibility that that's going to have opened up the uh, the Steam overlay onto the recording, so I'm just going to check to make sure that hasn't happened. Uh, let's get retract my wings before I do, so that you don't get just a view of wings. So give me just 30 seconds. Seven hours later. I was actually originally going to play a different VR game, originally. Uh, today, we were gonna, I was going to play a game called Quinero. Which looks interesting, I don't know much about it, but it kind of looks like, how do I describe it? Like a, a detective -y game, but you're like looking at footage or something. Uh, and it looks interesting, but I needed a controller. You couldn't use actual VR controllers, you had to use an Xbox controller. Which was a shame, because it looked really cool. I think I saw a review that says you have to quit out of the game entirely to get back to the hub. Um... Let's get rid of my wings. Ooh, this is like a roller coaster. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, it looks like really impressive. This is uh, a big old half pipe here. Bomp. Ooh, I don't know how, if there's like a break button. <laughs> oh no. The aiming feels like you, you have to aim a lot lower than you think. Because very much like it, it isn't the, the shape of the controller, if that makes sense. Normally the way you aim is through the ring. Whereas this, you have to aim sort of above the ring. Right, let's go off this. Oh! <laughs> I wonder if I can get outside of the wall. If I can break the game. When starting this up, the first thing I managed to uh, do was, when my headset wasn't on, it clipped me through the floor. So that was a great sign. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. Oh, that looks cool though. Bonk. Yeah, that's a no. <gasps> Can I use this as a ramp? Oh, I so can, can't I? Just try not to drift towards the edge. I'm gonna actually boost into it as I go down and use it as a ramp. Oh, I have a body! How have I not seen that yet? <laughs> not the highest res body, but I guess you don't really look at it much. Ah! <laughs> Is it me or are these getting bigger? Are these growing? Or have they always been this big? I don't really know. I'm starting to feel a little bit sick. <laughs> Woo. Ah, so if I get the momentum up, I can boost straight up using these. I want to see a city, but I think that means I'm going to have to quit and reopen it. <sighs> so, can I do that? Is there a restart button on here? Reset view, that's not what I want. I think I have to quit, which means I'll have to take the headset off. So I will be back in a minute. 2,000 years later. Right, so, uh, I, let's not look at that wall. Let's go, let's go somewhere else. The thing I needed to mention, if there is a VR game, a free VR game that you know of, that you have heard of or heard about or have seen, and you'd like to see me play it, feel free to leave a comment or join my Discord and let me know, because I would be happy to take um, recommendations. Can I fly up yet? Yes, I wanna see what's up here. This seems like a secret. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm just in a big room. Ooh, lift it off. Oh, yeah, there's really nothing in here. Disappointment. Where shall we go? This is probably gonna be the last place I'll look at before we end it. Um, because unless there's actually something to do, it kind of just seems like it'd be samey. If there's stuff to do, then awesome. I won't have to worry about it. I'm between city and space. I think I might go city. That seems like there's there's more to fly around in a city, you know. Wee. Mm, maybe I was wrong. Oh, it's not the most high res city in the world. <laughs> but you know, it's a free game. I'm not going to complain. What are these things? I never figured out what these do. Oh, that's just another starting pod, like that one. But I didn't figure out what the thing before was. Wait, what happens if I go into the bottom of a starting pod? Nothing. So I'm assuming this is just a city for me to fly around in. But it gives me guns and nothing to shoot, which seems really strange. You know, like they had the gun mechanic. So they were like, yeah, we'll just put them in. They don't do anything but we'll put them in this might just be a beta for something to happen in the future though so maybe in the future there will be enemies to shoot i don't know <laughs> hmm i'm i'm also the, the city to fly around in is quite small which is a little bit of a shame yeah you're a little bit constrained i mean it's cool the the flying doesn't feel as precise as it could 
Uh, I mean, I guess it, it feels pretty good, actually. But I, I do feel... I, it feels a lot easier than it maybe should, considering I am flying. Oh, those do pr launch you quite a bit. <laughs> That's what these ones are for, just to go... Choo. Oh, that did nothing. <laughs> I can imagine, like, I think there's a free Spider-Man game. Web swinging in VR, if it works, should be really cool. But from the videos I've seen, the Spider-Man game wasn't very good, so I'm kind of... Like, I don't know if I want to try it out and it be just bad. I don't know, this game is really cool for the first, like, 5-10 minutes, but it starts to get a bit samey. I just feel alone. I'm just alone in this VR world, flying around with no one to show that I'm flying. No one to show off to, you know? I'm so alone. The wings are, the physics on the wings work pretty well. You know, I can have it upside down and it still work the right way up, if that makes sense. And you don't need to be boosting to glide, which is quite nice. It's kind of, you don't get enough upward speed, I feel. I say that, and now I'm boosting up really fast. Maybe it's to do with uh, the angle I have my guns at when I'm doing it. <laughs> you know, there's a Superman-esque game that's called like Megaton or something and it was on PSVR and they released it for PC and it wasn't a VR game on PC. That's like, oh, that's so sad. Whoa, oh, I almost fell over in real life. It's a good job uh, you're always upright. <laughs> Most VR games, the Another VR game I want to play called Echo Arena is also um, Oh, you're always upright and you're in zero G, but I know for a fact I would fall over if you could twist. Echo Arena, I've, I've only really done the tutorial and messed around in the lobby because <laughs> funnily enough, the lobby is really fun. <laughs> I haven't actually tried playing the PvP because I'm like, well, people are just going to be way better at this than me. So I'm kind of just nervous to try it. Ooh, so much speed this time. Through the gap. Whoa. <laughs> Corkscrew the building. Ooh. I I didn't use my um speed to like turn. I just went back on myself. Come on. Also, another thing about Echo Arena is it's a multiplayer game, so I feel like I'm probably gonna want friends to play here with me. But it is also Oculus only, from what I've seen. So, if I want... My, I think both my friends that have VR are on Vives. So if I wanted to play with them, they'd have to get a mod to be able to play Oculus games. Which seems like a bit of a faff. But what can you do? This is so fun. I'm also feeling really ill. This feels like a good game to just sort of shut down and just chill out with, but it feels like I'd want to be able to do different things. Like, my HUD has stuff. The actual uh, speed and stuff, there's these gaps on the side of my HUD that have nothing in them. That one looks like it could be a lobby list, but that one doesn't have, like, my speed or anything in it. My speed's next to it. So I don't know what any of the HUD actually does. I kind of wish like I could just have a YouTube video up in the corner so I could just be watching stuff while playing. That would probably destroy my computer. <laughs> oh, I lost all my speed. Oh, uh, <laughs> I almost lost my balance. Oh, you can really pick up some speed though. Oh, I wonder if there are any free racing games. I think I have a racing game, actually, with VR support. I might try that. That will probably make me very motion sick. Yeah, you kind of have to make your own fun in this. Oh. The guns, again, I, I'm coming back to it. They just feel like they're taking up a lot of unnecessary room. If I could get rid of them and just fly around, I don't know. The guns make me feel like I need to be doing more but there isn't anything to do with them. 
I wonder what the ceiling is. There's there's like a dome that goes over the top of this. I wonder where the seat, the top of the dome is. Oh, that's a light. <laughs> ah, there it is. Ah, oh, it's not even a dome. It's like a cube. Boo. Oh, so those are like apocalypse. You know, like like biohazard signs. So is this game set in an apocalypse? <laughs> that would explain the walls around. Oh, you know, there could be story to this if they develop it. That would be cool. But right now, you know, there's there's just not, there's not a lot. How fast can you go on the floor? 200. <laughs> of course I hit the road. I hit 200 miles an hour though. Hang on, on the road. Boost. Oh, there's a leaderboard. So maybe there is a PVP element to this, but I don't know how you access it. There was no, like, online mode. I went out. I made it through. <laughs> I made it out. <laughs> I broke it. Yes. I love breaking games. Oh, there's like a whole mountain. Look how shiny this mountain is. Oh, is this the edge of the world? Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Can I just fly around on the edge of the world? Or is there going to be an, another invisible wall? Nope, I can just fly around. Can I go under? <laughs> can I get back through? Or is it going to stop me? Yep, I can. <laughs> That's right, it's blue. Breaking games and taking names. <laughs> oh, if I pull back on the sticks, I go so much faster. I've been pushing forwards. Pushing forwards seems to be like the slow. I also have to like, you have to twist your hands sideways for the wing. The wings come out the bottom of your arms, which kind of feels weird. It, it's less comfortable than having them like that, you know? Feels like a weird choice. Man, flying through these mountains outside the, the city is actually more fun. <laughs> I wonder if I was supposed to be able to do that. that. That's like a secret to this game. Can I get back in? Yeah. Well, we are going 300 kilometers an hour, 400. We made it out again. <laughs> I wonder if it's just that wall or if it, if it's any, if I'm going too fast, which seems like a real flaw in their coding. I don't make games, so I don't know, but like, you know, this seems like a game breaking glitch. Come on, let's hit 300, 300. <laughs> yeah, you can just bust out any wall if you're going fast enough. <laughs> Assumedly, these walls you can actually just clip through. And, um, uh, maybe not. Because I'm assuming I'm busting through these if I go fast enough. Because those are what's one of the things stopping me getting out. And I assume it just goes through the wall. But if the wall is actually solid as well. Hmm, I must investigate. Can I bust out above the wall? Or is it just the wall I'm going through? Come on, 300 kilometers an hour. Should be fast enough. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I can go through the floor. Right, we're gonna get speed up, we're gonna go up high, and then we're gonna go down. Right, we're still picking up speed and we're going up. Right, so there seems to be a, a, a severe limit to uh, the speed I can get going upwards. But going down should be way faster. This is gonna feel weird. 300 kilometers an hour. Through the floor! No, wow. Okay, the floors are better built than the walls. <laughs> Props to that. And I think that's where I'm going to end it, guys, with a game-breaking glitch. Uh, if you have VR and you want to try it out flying, it's pretty fun. Uh, it's called Blue Shift, and it's free, so why not? And some of you might be wondering why I started this series. And the reason is, if you're like me, you bought a VR headset, and then you didn't leave any money saved up after buying the headset for actual games. So you got a headset and then nothing to play on it. So I'm exploring free games you can play without having to cash out the usual like 30 to 40 pounds that you have to cash out on like big VR titles. So we're looking at free ones because I don't have the money to, to buy big games at the moment. In the future, I will hopefully be getting Beat Saber. So look out for that because I definitely want to play that on this channel. So 
That's not a free game, obviously. I'll, I'll have to buy it. But, ooh, I'm struggling to break out now. Hang on, let's go to my usual breakout spots. Uh, yeah, look out for Beat Saber in the future. We're gonna we're gonna finish it with me smashing into a wall. Come on. 300, 300, 300, yeah, 300. Well, in the year 2000, um, I think I'll probably be the spaceship to the moon dictating robots to robots. Or else I may be, I don't know, having a, in charge of a robot court, judging some robots. Or I may be at the funeral of a computer. Or if something's gone wrong with their nuclear bombs, I may be sort of coming back from hunting in a cave.